Do I look like a sap to you? <laughs> oh, thanks. Well, look. I've, I've tried to create an atmosphere of non-judgmental situation here where people get to sit where they want and express their, you know, for example, if you were a lesbian and you wanted to come here, you wouldn't be judged. <laughs> Look at lesbian role. Look. <laughs> what I think is nice, though, that the lesbians are at least being polite about the dude sitting next to them. <laughs> I mean, man, you're not even transgender. <laughs> are you? <laughs> no, I'm getting too old for this. <laughs> I think I'm going to retire. <laughs> yeah. That's it. I'm announcing my retirement. At uh, some point in the future, I'm going to stop doing this show. What I need is a morning show. <laughs> yeah. A morning show. A morning show with a real sidekick, not some fruity appliance. Little kitty. Yeah. <laughs> Someone, you know, a partner that I could maybe, you know, maybe I had an attractive young woman and I could talk to people about stuff and I could wear a sweater. <laughs> one day, one day I'm getting out of here and I will go to the ball. And I'll take my friends from Lesbian Row and Gay Alley, and we'll all go. All right, we'll be right back, everyone. The Lick Lick Show with Craig Ferguson, sponsored by Farmers Insurance. Find a knowledgeable local farmers agent at farmers.com. We are insurance. We are farmers. If you stop now, people will still believe it. So sit down, relax, unbuckle anything that's buckled, unhook anything that's hooked, and I'll try and muscle through, even although there's a dude in lesbian row. You, you are a dude, right? Uh, yeah, because uh, I thought for a second maybe I'd just met a very committed lesbian. <laughs> anyway, none of this awkwardness will be in the show tonight. It's a great day for America, everybody. A great day for America and a great day for China. It was a great day for China as well, because earlier this evening, China's president, who attended the state dinner at the White House? <laughs> <laughs> Knock it off! Fox News uh, said it was a gathering of the world's most powerful communist and the president of China. Meeting President Who must have been very confusing for Joe Biden. Vice President Biden, who is here to see you? I don't know you're meant to tell me! 
Now, I said, I did it, we did it, we got it out of the way. You're welcome, Abbott and Costello. Anyway, it's a very sad day for the TV industry today. One of the great broadcasters is stepping down. His full name is, of course, Regis Francis Xavier Philbin. You may know him as the Reg, the Big Daddy, the man on the telly who sits next to Kelly. <laughs> Whatever you call him, he's, he's leaving his morning show. I was like, what? I was shocked when I saw the newspaper this morning. You get this, this morning's newspaper? Look at that. Regis leaving. People take the streets. Stock market goes crazy. Bert. Bert fell from the sky. They were like, there's no point. Now, Regis is not retiring, actually. He's going on to do other things. He's, uh, he's, he's too young uh, to retire. 79. Uh, here at CBS, that's called a whippersnapper. <laughs> it's true. CBS has got Andy Rooney, we got Mike Wallace, we got that kid from Two and a Half Men. <laughs> no, that kid from Two and a Half Men, he's like 90 years old, he's got that... He has, he's got that Benjamin Button thing. <laughs> <laughs> why Charlie Sheen does all that stuff to take the spotlight off him. <laughs> it's working. <laughs> I admire the fact that Regis knows when to walk away, though. I'd hate to see him hold on an extra year and start texting pictures of his penis to people. <laughs> Can I just say, I would really hate that. <laughs> I think, yeah, I don't know what he's going to do now, though. He's welcome to take over this crap here. I'm fine with that. <laughs> I'm not sure he'd get along with Jeff, though. He's used to Kelly Ripper. Kelly Ripper and Jeff, very different, of course. One's sexy and perky and knows how to talk to a cranky old dude, and the other one's Kelly Ripper, so right there. No kidding. Yeah. The, uh, the TMZs said uh, today that Kelly... That's what I call them, the TMZs, yeah. They said that Kelly was blindsided by the news of Regis leaving. I'm sure Regis told her, uh, you know, well in advance. It's just she hasn't listened to a damn word he said in the last five years. <laughs> I'm a big fan of Regis, so when I got this job, I studied a lot of the great broadcasters. I watched videos of Regis and Johnny Carson and Larry King. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Who's here tonight? I might have copied Larry King a bit too closely, actually, when I started. Because uh, do we have a picture of my early days here? Yeah, see. Uh... Man, I look younger then. Look at that. <laughs> He's gonna kick my ass again. Yeah. You know, Larry is here tonight, so that's proof he really is. Uh, you know, he's. Uh, yeah. That's proof he's really given up show business. He's here. <laughs> now, Larry, Larry King and Regis, uh, the last, some of the last of the greats, when they're not on TV, TV's gonna suck. <laughs> Are we ready for that? <laughs> Regis says he's staying on until the end of the summer, so that should give him enough time to finish telling the story he started last week. <laughs> I, don't, I, I love Regis, I do, and I really admire him. I, but the, so, but I, the only thing I don't get about he's got some friends uh, who are some very shady characters, and when I say shady, I'm being polite. Look at this uh, picture. That Regis, look at that. that. Yeah, Regis and that guy. That, that's Regis and Donald Trump. They were at a baseball game last year. It was a very odd game, because that was the game where the thing on Trump's head started the wave. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, I am, actually. Anyway, Regis has been on TV for a long time. He started, uh, I googled it today, 1967. He was uh, Joey Bishop, he started before that, actually, but he was, he was uh, Joey Bishop's sidekick on a late-night talk show in 1967. It was called The Joey Bishop Show. We get a picture from him? Look at that. Look at that. I know. You can't get knitwear like that now. <laughs> That show uh, lasted two years. I don't know why it was cancelled. Probably something to do with Leno. But the... Uh... <laughs> no. That's right. Anyway, Joey, Joey Bishop... Uh, Joey Bishop was part of Frank Sinatra's Rat Pack. Which, you can, it's hard to imagine Regis hanging out with Sinatra. I mean, come on. <laughs> I got you under 
under my skin. I'm talking to you, Regis. Will you stop your yapping for two seconds? You're scaring away the broads. The, the Joey Bishop show was on ABC, and 30 years later, Regis practically saved ABC with the show Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, which was a great show. It had versions all over the world. Every country had one. In Scotland, it was called Who Wants to Get Their Arse Kicked. <laughs> you kick his ass? Because he's a millionaire. <laughs> Do you know that Regis is actually in the Guinness Book of World Records? It's true. He holds the record for the most hours spent in front of a TV camera. He's logged over 1,600 hours of television. And what's amazing is, for some of that time, he wasn't talking. <laughs> and apparently, the Regis and Kelly show will continue without Regis. Good luck. That's going to be awesome. I guess they'll, they'll, what they'll do is they'll try and find another guy named Regis. That's what they did. That's what they did here. You know when Craig Kilborn quit, we were like, anybody else in LA named Craig? Quick! But Regis isn't exactly a common name. I looked it up today in the Google. It turns out is Regis in Latin means uh, king. And Larry King is here tonight. And we come full circle. What do you think about that, Jeff? Bulls. Ah. <laughs> well, it's time for a commercial break anyway. ka -ching. Break time. <laughs> yes, we personally get all the advertising money. <laughs> oh, wait. No, we don't. <laughs> Listen, before we go any further, I would like to issue an apology. Apparently, earlier on, I said Regis has done over 1,600 hours of television. The exact number is, of course, 16 million hours of television. <laughs> uh, some nights here, it feels like 16 million hours. Of is it Jeffrey Peterson? Let's find some laughs in tweets and emails. <laughs> Get it? Get it? Bulls. You had me at balls. What do you think? Hey, Jeff, you want to get tweeted with me tonight? This is uh, from uh, Courtney in San Antonio in Texas, uh, who says, Hey, Craig, would you consider a girl who sneaks into cemeteries cool or crazy? <laughs> Little of both. You don't need to sneak into a cemetery. People aren't going to stop you. I was like, there's a girl going into the cemetery. They're not going to run over and go, Where are you going? <laughs> Do you know, though, when people unnecessarily sneak? I went out to a diner the other day, right? Uh, oh, yeah, swanky. Uh, <laughs> but it was in uh, Los Angeles, and I <laughs> looked out the window, and there was a guy, a paparazzi guy, and he was kind of, like, diving behind his car and doing a forward roll in the parking lot. And I thought, who the hell is he sent to take a photo? And it was some actress. Uh, he was trying to take a photograph. It wasn't me. It was some... Uh, <laughs> Some actress he was trying to take a photograph of, and nobody, nobody in the restaurant would have noticed this idiot if he'd have just walked around with a camera. <laughs> but because he was doing forward rolls and doing all that, people were like, is that guy okay? <laughs> How we laughed. <laughs> Later. <laughs> all right, this is from uh, Joe in Rapid City in South Dakota. <laughs> South Dakota is one of my favorite Dakotas. 
Uh, Joe says, hey, Craig, often when you say something potentially controversial, you say, I look forward to your letters. Do you actually get letters? And if so, why don't you read us some of them? I think I just did, Joe. <laughs> letters in here complaining about stuff and I'm like hey you know what there's a remote use it see ya <laughs> yeah, I can understand complaining about a television show if there's like one channel <laughs> Like, if, so if you're in Soviet-era Russia and you have one channel, go ahead, complain, see where it gets you. <laughs> Take that, Al-Qaeda. Right. <laughs> this is from Brittany in Cleveland in Georgia. There's a Cleveland... Uh, there's a Cleveland in Georgia? Wow. I wonder if it's as interesting as the Cleveland in Ohio. <laughs> I wasn't being sarcastic. I like Cleveland, Ohio. It's got that river there that went on fire once. That's pretty cool. Plus, one of my friends is from Cleveland. All right. Uh, Brittany says, Hi, Craig. I'm doing an art project on censorship, and I was wondering, what's your view on censorship in America? I'm afraid I can't tell you. I actually like censorship because I think, you know, when you put up a little flag saying Tootsie Fruitsie, you know, it's more interesting than Tootsie Fruitsie. <laughs> uh, I look forward to your letters. Uh, <laughs> This is from Chris in Brisbane, Australia. Oh, yeah, our show, our show goes out in Australia now. Good eye. Uh, Chris in Brisbane, Australia says, uh, Hello, Craig. No offence, but do most Americans believe that the same stereotypes about Australia that you do? What are you talking about? I can hardly hear what you're saying past your little corks hanging from your hat. No, no, of course not. We all know you're like Nicole Kidman. Big alien people with large foreheads. <laughs> Actually, I can't say that about her. She's just a baby. But congratulations, Nicole Kidman and that guy. <laughs> Keith Urban! Keith Urban! Yeah! Jeez. He's Australian too, so that proves you're not all the same. One's a man, one's a lady. <laughs> there, are we out of time? I want to do a couple more then. Uh, this is this is from Donald in New York. Whoa. Uh, he says, uh, Craig, does Regis leaving his show confirm the rumours about Jeff leaving to co-host with Kelly? Oh, shut up. <laughs> this is from Melissa in Coral Springs in Florida. He says, Craig, I think I'm over Twitter. It was fun while it lasted, don't you think? <laughs> <laughs> I like the way I'm getting cranky as I get older. This is from Amanda. Get off of my lawn! This is from Amanda in Durham in North Carolina. Hey, Craig, my roommates and I want to throw a themed party next month, but we don't have a theme. Any ideas? Yes, I do. The Enlightenment. <laughs> I don't know. Why don't you take it from the argument about um, uh, access to a deity starting with Pelagius and uh, Saint uh, Augustine and take it all the way up to the ending of the Reformation? When did it end? I don't know. <laughs> Are you clapping because you know when the Reformation ended? <laughs> or the Enlightenment? When did the Enlightenment end? Did the Enlightenment end? I think it probably did. <laughs> I think the Enlightenment ended on the 3rd of January 2005. Why? My first show. <laughs> we'll be right back.
eye too long tonight? I've just seen it in the morning. Look at that. It seems to be pointing at a much bigger area of my body. <laughs> this way for crazy times. <laughs> My first guest tonight, you know him as the, the longtime host of Larry King Live on CNN. That's a clue to who it is. <laughs> Please welcome American broadcast legend Larry King, everybody. Larry King. Great audience. Really? Great, yeah. Okay, I guess. <laughs> no, they're nice. They're a good audience. How, how are you, Larry? I haven't seen you since... Uh... Long time. Well, yeah, it's been a while, I actually. watch you every night, though. You are... This is really terrific. This show is sanctioned by the Mental Health Association. <laughs> you, you are in another realm. You are... You are different, man. There's, some, there's something about you that you can, you can last 25 years, too. That's the worst thing you ever said. <laughs> but this I don't, is, no, no, no. You did 25 years in the, the Larry King. Well, all, you know, the, I've been in broadcasting 53 years. I started in 1957. Wow. Were you in Regis? Regis, <laughs> Regis is older than me. I, Regis started about the same time. He started in San Diego. And you were in Miami, right? Miami. Yeah, that's when you were doing stuff with all those guys and that thing, you know. <laughs> I knew a few of those yeah, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. I did a favor for one of them one night. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, this is a true story. I, I did a benefit uh, for, a, for a guy named Boom Boom Giorno. And, uh, you do a favor for a guy called Boom Boom? I said, yeah. no, it was for the boys' town of Italy. Okay. And at the end of the, the evening, I was the MC. Boom Boom was walking me to my car, uh -oh. and he says, uh, you did a good job, kid. I says, thanks, Boom Boom. He said, listen, I talked to the guys. Uh, we owe you a favor. I says, oh, boom, boom, I don't need any favors. He says, uh, we, don't, we don't like to owe favors. Oh. So I says, you don't like to owe favors? No, no we, don't, we, we don't like to owe favors. What can we do for you? I said, well, what do you got in mind? He said, five words. You'll never hear those five words. This people will never hear those five words. He said, got anybody you don't like? <laughs> Do you have a number for Boom Boom? <laughs> Tell you the truth, the first thing you think of, if that's ever said to you by yeah. a member of the Mafia, yeah. is names. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I, thought of the I, I, saw, I thought of a couple right I there. Thought of the <laughs> I thought of the general manager at Channel 4 where I was working. I saved his life that night. Yeah? yeah. And finally, he said, well, we got to do something for you. So I said, oh, you like horse racing? I said, yeah. He says, okay, we'll be in touch. And I get a call one morning, a strange voice just said, Apple tree in the third today at Hialeah. Oh. Ooh. So I took all the money I had, I go out to Hialeah, put it all on Apple tree. Horses are going in the gate. I said to myself, there were three sure things in life. <laughs> Death, taxes, and Apple, apple tree. Yeah. Win. <laughs> I didn't know you liked the horse racing. If I knew, mm. I would have... Who's that? Who's that? That, that's sick. That, that's, that's part of the illness. It's what, it's what I do here to try and break the monotony. When you, when you pitch this show to the suits yeah. upstairs. I didn't do any of that. No one pitched it? No, I never happened like that. Well, there was uh, Craig Kilborn was here and he was doing the show. It was a great show, a, good I show, and then the I show. came along and ruined it. No, but, I mean, but did you see I got an idea? I'm going to have a coffee cup. I'm going to have a, a talking partner who yeah, uh, has been dead 720 years. He got into broadcasting the same time as Regis, actually. Uh. No kidding. Yeah. And I'm going to have a horse run out, too. No, I don't do any of that, because CBS don't know I'm on. 
See, this, this whole thing is kind of a pirate operation. What happens is they think that they're running right now a boner pill commercial, right? Or some kind of... That's true. Yeah, they don't know I'm here. Network officials... They don't know. They don't know that you, Tim Conway was on my radio show once. Right. And he bet me that he and I could schedule a pilot at NBC without them knowing it. <laughs> they would take it right we now, call, Larry, we, I tell you. <laughs> we called up. We scheduled the pilot on the phone. We went down that day. They had a studio for us. They had cameramen. And they said, okay, what do you guys need for your pilot? We had no pilot. <laughs> so I, it's possible that CBS does not know this show they, is No, on. no, it's, it's, not a, it's not a joke, Larry. They don't know I'm here. When they find out, they're going to be mad. <laughs> Someone said the other day, did Larry King Live leave our network? <laughs> <laughs> did you, uh, what, are you, what are though. you doing now? That you're, well, I'm going to do four specials a year for CNN. Oh. I've been in a lot of talks about, I can't retire. I mean, I'm going to nah, do You're not going to retire. I want to spend more time with my little boys, you know, right. have fun. And, uh, so you do that for a couple of days then, what are you going to do? <laughs> <laughs> no, I want to be with the wife, I want to be with the boys. I like family life, i got a nice life, I live in Beverly Hills. Oh, it's that's nice. Not bad. Do you know the Beverly Hills Housewives? Do you ever watch that show? <laughs> Uh, there's some tasty uh, dames there. <laughs> I'll bet you watch. Oh, oh yes, I do, yeah. Because uh, no, when you say this show is sick, show. we're not sick at all. This is just, you know, just some dude no, trying I, to make a buck. But these, uh, that show is sick. I've never seen it. Oh, well, it's, 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 imagine... Is the, it on CBS? Uh, I don't care. <laughs> uh, what is it on? Uh, the, Bra Bravo, yeah, the gay network. It's on the... Uh, <laughs> Oh, those are the gay guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bravo! <laughs> Bravo to you for that belt! <laughs> but the... The, uh... <laughs> No, imagine, because you, you're part of the community of Beverly Hills, aren't I am. you? Yeah, yeah, well, but imagine, not... you've probably seen those girls around. Well, there's a lot of housewives in Beverly Hills. Oh, come on. There are. There, yeah. are, there are a lot of nice people. Beverly no, Hills there are, are nice people. That's Beverly true. Hills is a great place to live. It, it, there's certain things it doesn't have. Right. Movie theater. There poor people. No, what? Poor people. It doesn't poor have a poor people. It doesn't have a 7-Eleven. It doesn't have a 7-Eleven. Well, you, you don't need one, do you? Really? <laughs> yeah, what would we do with a 7-Eleven? Uh, turn Visit it into it. a movie no, theater. No, but it's... It, it, it's a wonderful place to live. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sure I go down there quite a lot. No one can drive there, though. Why? I don't know why. I guess, guess that it doesn't matter if they have a fender bender. Like, oh, I hit someone who cares. Ha, ha, ha. No, they hate, no, 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 something weird about Southern California is rain. Rain? You can't take rain. No, no one can drive here The, in the news rain, begins yeah. with storms. Yeah, I know. It's like, it, it's what, you raining. mean it's raining? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> storms. Storms coming in from the Pacific. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds much more dramatic than you go outside and it's like, <laughs> like that's, that's gay rain, they, by maybe the way. I'll yeah. do, maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll be a weatherman. No, Larry. Oh, that no, must be man. fun. Come on, man. Just stand with a stick and No, you point. have to change your name to something weathery, like Stormy King or something like that. Stormy King. Yeah, Foggy King. How'd you like to be the weatherman in Hawaii? <laughs> Sunny. <laughs> Back to you, host. <laughs> <laughs> you got yourself going there, didn't you? <laughs> Hey, we have to take a break. We hang around, we'll be right back. I'll be back. All right, we'll be right back with Larry King. Oh, yeah. talking about this power bracelet. Yeah, what See, is that? The balance okay. bracelet? Uh, it's, it's either a, a, one of the great gimmicks of all time. Right. My boys have it, my two boys. Right. They play ball. They play football, baseball, they play everything. And they wear these. So you go, I went to a Little League game, and you do this. You stand there. You wearing a silly band? No, this is for my cardio. No, 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 no. Right here, yeah, buddy. That's a silly one. band. Yeah, right they gave me It's the Dodgers. It spells out Dodgers. It spells Dodgers? Yeah, oh, that's adorable, Larry. <laughs> Okay. You know, you lost, your, you lost your damn see, mind. See, they you know do that, this, right? Do this. Well, all right, now, here's what they do. Right. Stick out your arms, they say, right? All right. Okay. And then you take both my arms oh, and bend them down, right? Right now? Push them down. All right. Oh, wow, how easy. Now you put this on. Aha. Uh -huh. Now try it. Oh. I'm playing along here. You know? <laughs> That's how they sell them. Yeah, yeah, I guess. I... 
to so, power brush them. So do you, do you go in for all that, all that mysticism? Do you like to have crystals in your pants and all that kind of thing? <laughs> I'm Jewish. You can still have crystals in your pants. It's not. It's not like you know. It's We're not. Getting I, I, away. We're getting away. We're getting away to wallet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not like Mel Gibson has all the crystals. You know. <laughs> you know. You can have crystals even if you're Jewish. It's all right. This is such. I, I can't tell you how fun it is. You know if you I mean? ever want to take a night off, I would do this show. Go ahead, right now. <laughs> right now. All you have to do is. Uh, what else is Move happening? over. Well, you could interview me a bit. Go ahead, sit here and I'll sit there. Nah. You're afraid, aren't you? Well, wait, afraid You're of afraid. What? Afraid of Wait, wait, do, don't start. You're afraid. <laughs> You're afraid that one of the suits will tune in magically to see about the you, Pepto-Bismol you, commercial. You, come on, then. Come on. Yeah. All right. All right. Come on, then. Ready, sir. There you go. Let me guest. tell you about my movie. We have, a, we have a great guest tonight, Craig Ferguson, one of the classic late-night entertainers. Do you miss Scotland? <laughs> you think about no, Scotland? No, no, like, no, not at all. I just get on, I get on the plane and it goes right there. I, every single time I've landed right on it. <laughs> The, the planes go non-stop. The planes stop. go no, from Newark. They go. They don't go from uh, Los Angeles. You know why? Why? Because it's too far. <laughs> <laughs> were you a funny kid? No, no, I'm not a funny adult. So, <laughs> you were not a funny kid. Uh, no, no, I wasn't really. No, I. It, it didn't do it to be. You, you should. Drink. Oh, look, it says Craig Ferguson. Uh, the... No, it doesn't. You see, they're not sure. They're not sure. The oh, late yeah, late show a, with to whom how, it may concern. Look how, look how small that is. Yeah, no. They, they could take that off in a minute. Oh, sure. <laughs> I'm not kidding you, Larry. I could leave and they'd be like, have I'm, we met? I, I, I have no doubt of that. In fact, I'm, I'm convinced. If they turned in now, they'd be they like, would... oh, where did Larry start on our network? <laughs> like, oh, oh, I'm so glad we signed him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I bet the ratings just went up. <laughs> <laughs> Some drunk just tuned in. What the hell's going on? Yeah. <laughs> the world is beyond me. Do you still uh, you still drink a lot? Never drank. You never drank ever? I've, you know something? I've never been drunk. Really? I never like. You liked, should try it. It's a blast. <laughs> no, I never liked the. T I think it's a control issue. Yeah. I never yeah. liked. First, I never liked the taste. Well, there's lots of different tastes. Yeah, but I have the vodka, and it just still tastes. Yeah. Don't taste good to me. Okay, well, I don't. No, you know. I used to butt around with Jackie Gleason, not to drop names. Right, okay. And Gleason said to me, I said, doesn't it taste... He got, he got drunk once or twice. Once or twice. Yeah. A day. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I said, doesn't it taste terrible? He says, hey, if Coca-Cola did for me what this does for me, I'd drink Coca-Cola. Well, that's, that's <laughs> fair enough, yeah. So you've been uh, inebriated at times. Oh, yeah, the 1980s. <laughs> Did you miss the 1980s? Pretty much, but, you know, what was it, shoulder pads and, you know, that was about it, really. Did you I, get, I, shoulder did pads you, and dynasty, I feel that was okay. Did yeah. you get hangovers? I never used to get hangovers until, um, until I stopped drinking. <laughs> you know, I, I mean, I kind of get them now. I think it's part of getting older. I, I mean, I haven't had a drink in nearly 20 years, but I, you know, I... How old are you? I'm 48. Well, you don't look it. Crikey. With me. <laughs> They're taking that out. Yeah, huh? No. No, man. <laughs> they leave that in, you yeah, gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By the way, what? do Scotchmen drink scotch? All the time, man. Is that, is oh, that yeah. their favorite drink? Yeah. Yeah, no, it's called scotch because it's popular in the country of Scotland. <laughs> and you know what? I, the, you know the first time Why I tried... I never told anybody this. Let me tell you this. Tell the me. The first so. time I... Dude, who's at this? Yeah. I... <laughs> The first time I ever tried to get sober, I was about 25, right? And I went, I thought, I'll go away to an island off the coast of Scotland, an island called Isla, right? Isla has more whiskey distilleries per square mile than anywhere else on earth. And all they want to do is say, here, try the whiskey, it's free. <laughs> it's the what you, nobody could get sober on Isla. And I, uh, and I stayed sober for, man, an hour and a half, too. <laughs> There really is such a place? Oh, yeah, it's a magical kingdom known as Isla, and they make very, <laughs> very nice uh, whiskeys. If you're looking for whiskey, that's, uh, that's where you should go. 
Did you ever try things rougher than whiskey? Okay. <laughs> now, what is that like? Now, okay. Lenny Bruce used to say there has yeah. to be something good about it. About cocaine? Okay? Yeah, but why I, do the so only many thing I liked about cocaine, in all honesty, was that I let you drink more. <laughs> I swear. I mean, I, I, I tried taking it once, you know, without alcohol around. I was like, this is just turns you into a jerk. You, you know, thought but you, I, I thought you can't mix the two. Oh, bless you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, no. Really, no, I really thought that. No, no. That, you you're a good guess. Yeah, you're a good, you're we'll really you good at most, and you should do it. Yeah, <laughs> this could be my ticket. Oh, <laughs> But, um, no, you, uh, the reason why I took it, it was because you, I didn't black out when I was, uh, drinking and doing coke. But, coke's illegal, so I would never do it. <laughs> Did you ever CBS try anything Kale. else with the two of them? What, you mean heroin? They, you couldn't do coke, heroin, and liquor. <laughs> bless you. <laughs> <laughs> We, uh, You're like a little baby sometimes, aren't you? Yeah. We have to go to break now. And if you just tuned in... Oh my God, did we do as well? That's weird. If you just tuned in, CBS executives, I'm available. <laughs> If you're going to be in the Los Angeles area and would like to attend a taping of The Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson, please call 323-570-0059 or visit oneiota.com. What did we learn on the show tonight, Greg? <laughs> Welcome back to Larry King Late. <laughs> Our apologies, by the way, to Sharon Woodward, who was scheduled to be a guest tonight and who now hates me. No, no, no. Sh Sh Shannon Woodward. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Our apologies to Shannon Woodward. We'll have her back soon. Yeah, I, it would really never sorry. have happened if I was sitting behind the desk, Shannon. <laughs> no, I, I you blaming thing. me for this? Okay, you're the one sitting no, behind the desk. You, the, you. the buck stops there, mister. <laughs> Let's talk about gray hair. Did it, did it come early? Downstairs it did, yeah. <laughs> but that part of me was working harder than the upstairs part. A couple of other things I'm fascinated about you. Yeah. When they hired you, yeah. how did they tell you? How did they say, did one of the suits call, who called and said, we want you they said, to do the Late Late they Show? They said, we've got good news and we've got bad news. <laughs> the good news is, you are allowed to stay in the United States. <laughs> the bad news is, there's a condition. Uh, and then I had to come and do that. Do you work for David Letterman? No. No, I don't. But I thought this was worldwide. They, no, they, they do, but I actually uh, work for CBS. So your check comes from... Check. <laughs> your remittance. Yeah, come yeah. From... Comes from CBS. Yeah, CBS. Do you ever meet with the executives? Yeah, there's, a, there's an executive. No, I mean, there. last time, say, Lester Moonves. Yeah. President of CBS. Yeah. yeah. When did you meet with him last? What's the gentleman's name again? <laughs> Moonves. Moonves. No, I see him from time to time for legal reasons. Does he know who you? Does he know who you are? Yeah, he's all right. Actually, he's all right. He's, he's a good guy. Yeah, he was he's an a, actor. You know him, right? Yeah, very. But he's well. kind of different because he. You were right. He was he's an a, actor, so he's, he's, he's kind of like. Are we out of time? Who cares? <laughs> oh, we are. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no. We'll be back tomorrow night. Who's oh, our okay. guest? Tomorrow night, uh, Regis, I think. <laughs> <laughs> who is it? Emily Deschanel, well, that, she's on the Bones show. You ever oh, watch yes. the Bones show? Oh, oh uh, hey. That's a good guest. I love interviewing her, so you can take off. All right. <laughs> Night, everybody. Good night, everybody.